today. The Western Welding Academy just the wrapped. Western Welding Academy brought a blue collar tour made its way to the Cape Western Durant. Welding Academy hits the road for their blue collar tour. We're here in South Sioux City. The Academy is on its nationwide blue collar tour, an annual tour to get high school students interested in blue collar roles. They're encouraging these kids to join the trade. We all need electricity, we all need, you know, plumbers, mechanics, machinists, you know, and welders hold the entire thing together. So it's really important. Blue Collar Trades, this country was founded on that, was built on that, and that's what we're doing today is talking about kids, about the Blue Collar Trades. So the idea of the Blue Collar Tour came to me during coronavirus. The whole entire country was shut down. It was a mess. And if we don't invest into these high school kids, who will? They're the future of our nation. And I think that everybody thinks like, well, somebody is going to come along and wave this magic wand and fix our society. But the reality of it is, it's me and it's you. We are coming. We are the ones. We have to take ownership and responsibility of our future. And if we don't do it, who will? The industry needs people. If you're ever just in need of a job for even a short period of time, having the skill is, is useful. And when other jobs dry up, welders don't usually. Trades in general don't. Like That's what makes the world go round. 2024 Blue Collar Tour, uh, we first headed west, went up to Idaho. We worked our way down the west coast uh, through California, and then we cut across Nevada, dropped into the, uh, the southern states, you know, New Mexico and Texas, and then we kind of worked our way up the eastern seaboard all the way up into uh, North and South Carolina. And then we came back to Gillette through the middle of the country. It was a great time, and, and we had an incredible team this year, a bunch of great sponsors. We met a bunch of really awesome people, teachers and parents, parents and administrators and like all these people were just collectively really focused on the same thing that we're focused on, which is building a better generation and investing in our youth. It's like anything in life. The more you do, the better you want to get better at it. The harder you try at it, the more you work at it, the more you succeed, the more you succeed, then you want to keep going. But at the same time, don't let failures kill you because you only learn through your failures. Success isn't where you gain. You gain when you fail and picking yourself up and going after it again and learning from the mistake that you made to not make that mistake again and to get better and better. So one of the things that I just continually hear from the baby boomer generation, this idea that the young people, you know, oh, none of them want to work anymore. They don't have the same level of commitment. What I can tell you from running Western Welding Academy and doing the Blue Collar Tour is that is 100% false. These baby boomers, they are retiring and they are moving out of the workforce. There is lots and lots of young people super interested in going into these trades. Yes, I agree that they are different. They're wired different. But if you motivate them and show them the path and communicate to them. This whole generation of kids, they grew up in instant Amazon, one-click delivery, you know, instant social media gratification. So when they enter the workforce, why would it be any different? What really needs to happen is these companies and these contractors and these managers and leaders of whole organizations and industries, they have to learn how to start communicating to these young people and getting on their level. Let's face it, they are the future of this nation and if we don't know how to communicate to them and talk to them and explain to them what success looks like and what's really important, things like work ethic, accountability, integrity, these are really important traits and that's what it takes to make it. We have to get on their level, we have to communicate to them in a way that they understand. They want it, they're ready, they're willing. We're making a huge impact in that and helping that communication back and forth. Really from an industry perspective, they gotta get on their level and communicate on their level. When we're setting up the Blue Collar Tour, we wanna do business with people that are aware of the same problem and issues with our society and our nation. DeWalt really comes to mind, AWG, American Welding and Gas, Outlaw Leather, Build Submarines, all these people, they're focused on the same things we're focused on. Invest into these youth, get them the proper tools, get them the stuff they need, the resources, show them the path. If we can really communicate to these young people, we've got some really good sponsors that believe in all the same things that we believe in, and that's what's made this thing possible. It's been the sponsors and the team that's just like put power to the pavement every day talking to these kids. It's blew my mind. It's humbling to have this level of support and uh, have the team that we have. It's, it's incredible. 
It's hard work, but it's, it's satisfying work. You drive down the road and you say, oh, I helped build that. To all those out there thinking about a trade school, do it. It's, it's so worth it. Let's build it!